I'm fucking. I love Amy Cars. Oh crap. Scotty Jevin. I didn't do too What are you looking at? <laughs> yeah, it's part and parcel of Joe. And it's hilarious sometimes. It is hilarious. And see, so laugh. Joe laughs. It's Tourette's. Welcome to the world of Tourette's. Bitch. That's for God. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Good Lord, it's cold out there. Fuck off, Scott! You bitch! Yeah, mate, how you doing? Go home! Okay, bye. Bed back in over there. Chickaboo! Fucking gollywog. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, with all the diagnoses that he's got, like, it's just... It's mad. But he does <laughs> just keep, like... Do you know what I mean? Like you say, Straight he's never let him, like... Hold him back, and don't get me wrong, he has his down days and stuff, but realistically, oh, he's like, oh, fuck it, I'm still Joe, so. Lot of period. Ah, that's weird, man. Scott, leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Scott! 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 I have dyspraxia, so I basically can't walk in a straight line. That's basically all that does to me, is make my coordination shit. Uh, I have autism, so... Social interaction is a bit more difficult. Uh, obviously, you know about the Tourette's. I have ADHD, so I'm very hyper half the time, and I'm ticking the other half of the time. And then I have PTSD, so I'd rather not talk about that one, but it is there. And then SPD, which is sensory processing disorder. So I don't like certain textures, and then people so close to me stresses me out. <laughs> Fuck your elephant! Don't drop that, they just gave that to you. I'm <laughs> gonna drop it if you keep hitting me, mate. Come on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bitch. I kick things, punch things, tap people, uh, twitch. <laughs> bitch ass. Mm. Oh. Oh. Everything makes me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Or oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> right in the pride. He's thrown the kettle full of boiling water before. Um, pots and pans. He'll slap the handles. It's yeah. But I think out of all the disabilities, the Tourette has had the biggest, biggest effects on him on a day-to-day -day basis because it pretty much affects every single part of his life. He worries about how people perceive him. It's, it's his confidence initially. He really struggled because he, he couldn't have a conversation uh, and then he'd, he'd question what's he done to deserve it? Why him? He must be a bad person. And that was really difficult. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I think I have to cut the cameras because it's making it worse. I really hurt my knuckles now. Oh, fuck. He's an intelligent lad, but it, it's horrible to see him beat himself up because he's handicapped by the Tourette's or whatever. And the self-worth sometimes is out the window, but other times he's fantastic, isn't he, yeah? yeah. And he genuinely owns the world, like, it's, it's crazy. And mm. then there are times when you see him physically and mentally beat himself up, metaphorically and literally, you know what I mean? It, it's, 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 it's mad. He doesn't have a high opinion of himself. Yeah, like, and it's horrible all. to know that I can't do anything to help him, or, you know what I mean? It's very difficult in that situation. It's like, what do you do? Mm. What do you say? I do love them a lot. Like, I do appreciate everything they've done. I might have a funny way of showing it when I'm ticking and hitting them, but they do hopefully know that I do love them a lot. They've been very supportive, friends and family at home, but more so family because they've had to deal with me for longer. But I feel that I've had a lot of support throughout the years, and the family have shown me the most of it. Today! Careful! Nice! Nice! 
<laughs> Bless them. I've done quite a few fun things with my Tourette's, but I would love to say I fought off like 10 bikers, you know, be a manly man, but I slipped on wet grass and landed full weight on my right knee and dislocated and then relocated and then dislocated again. And as I stood up to straighten my leg out, kind of see if it was all right, it relocated but smacked the bottom of my thigh bone, so it fractured my thigh and it permanently chipped the back of my knee and then ligament, tendon, cartilage and muscle damage. As I said, I'd love to say I fought off a few bikers, but it's a fucking fat bastard, isn't I? Primary school was a bit trash, so I was quite badly bullied by staff and students at primary school. So from there I went to like a primary slash secondary school where I was there from year 5 to year 11. And again, it wasn't the best, but it was better than primary school. And then I went to sixth form, which again was trash, so it just seems to be a trail of bad luck. <laughs> and then. At the college I'm going to now, the support has been phenomenal. It's like having no support to all this support is kind of a lot to me to deal with, but it's a nice change and it's very appreciated, I would say. Ow! So, what do you need to do after this once we've done this? Uh, stick if you didn't know. Okay. And then we can move on to the second one. Did you finish your meeting? You do it! I can't be asked. I'm currently studying a level three course in art and design and level two English. I've got my own personal tutor, I've got a mentor, and I've got a counsellor. That was all sorted out in the first few months of being there. So seeing how much support I was given there in the first few months and in the first few years of my old schools is such a massive difference. And I think that I've been able to excel and become a better me than I was able to in the few years of being at school. How many artists do you want to do? Um... <laughs> Fucking... Fuck off! Uh, seven! What, seven? Uh, four, I think. Okay. Yeah, Tom's four. So he's adjusted really well to the change um, in coming here because it was brand new staff, people, campus, timetables, so lots of new things to get used to. Um, as well, I think Joe has really done well at developing skills outside his comfort zone, which is really positive. Dickhead! <laughs> Your mum? I don't know if he'd ever live truly independently. Yeah. But, <laughs> but at the same time, to like, yeah, 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 just like, just do shit that we sort of take for granted, do you know what I mean? Paying for his own clothes, paying for his own bills, paying for his own foods and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, being just able to, to go out and shop. Joe wouldn't walk up to people that he doesn't know or go to something and then sort of just start chatting to people. No. Is he happy with his social life? I think so. You know, are we happy? Yeah. You know, he's, he's getting more independent. He's able to sort of verbalise now, if that makes sense to people that, you know, look, it's Tourette's, I'm sorry. I quite like the idea of Joe being able to be happy in a relationship as well because he said to me as well, he struggles to look at stuff like that in the respect of he worries about his Tourette's hindering something like that. Um, but I feel like, to be honest, ultimately, again, it had killed two birds with one stone. He, he gets to be happy and then in turn his confidence boosts because if he's got somebody else he can not rely on but somebody that can look after him and he can look after it gives him a form of self-worth. And I think that would be really nice for him because, like I say, he's, he's a fantastic lad and he genuinely does, uh, d does deserve to be happy. 
but as Sean was saying, it, it's going to be difficult for him to live truly on his own with the handicaps that he does deal with. Short term, I just want to get my qualifications in English and possibly art, just because then I know that they're out of the way and I've got that to go towards my CV, which can then potentially see me good job opportunities. But long term, I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm not sure if I want to become a maths teacher or an accountant because I would like to do something maths related, but I also don't want to make big decisions as of yet because my future career aspirations may also change. So at the moment, I'm looking at completing my college work and going from there. <laughs> <laughs> What are you looking at? Spender. Jew. At the end of the day, it's me, myself, fucking Tourette's. <laughs> this is too funny. <laughs> it's an excuse to swear and I'm not even fucking ticking. <laughs> no, no, oh my God, what have you done? <laughs> at the end of the day, it's me, myself, and fucking Tourette's. I'm loving this too much. <laughs>